Hey guys, so I am coming to you today with a bit of a haul. Um, for some reason, I must have forgot about all this stuff. I went uh, thrift store shopping last week and maybe the week before that. And I have like a whole bunch of stuff that I just forgot to show y'all. So this is all old stuff since the last video, I think. I have uh, not really been to the Goodwill, but I've been recently, and these are the things I forgot to show y'all. I am so, so, so sorry. I know y'all like to see hauls and see all the different things and what you can do with them. So, um, I have four bags on this floor. So, I'm going to try my hardest to get through this as quickly as possible. But, uh, alright. Here goes, here goes. So, this is the first bag. I know, it's very, very large, right? We're going to do it like this. So I don't have it in any particular order. I'm just going to grab the bag and show y'all what I got in the bag, okay? So this is a purse I got. And it looked very unique. That's why I got it. I didn't necessarily get it for myself to wear. I was thinking about maybe cleaning it up and selling it on eBay. So we'll see what happens. But it's beautiful. It's a uh, candle. is like a pearlized. And this is kind of pearlized. It has uh, gold hardware, and it has this basket weave pattern, and I love it. You open it up, and it's white inside. It has a gold zipper, and it's, it's made in Hong Kong, but it's really old. Very, very, very old bag, but it's very cute, and I know it's someone out there that would really, really love this bag. So I'm just going to clean it up and maybe just um, spray this or paint it back gold or something. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, got this. That there. Next thing I got is this bag, and I love this bag because it looked almost like it was handmade. It's this uh, another like basket weaving, but it's a little different kind of weaving. It's so intricate. The the weaving is just so nice on there, and it has the shell detailing on the handle that I love, and on the inside. It's just a big open area with two po three pockets. So, it is so cute. I like it. I'm going to keep this for myself. I'm not selling that one. Sorry. So, here's some belts. Um, if you live down south, I know you've seen these belts before or something like it, something similar. I'm a southern girl. I live down south. And these are belts that people down here wear. I necessarily have never worn them before, but I saw these and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get these belts. But um, it has a crab on it, if you can see it. And it has that blue and it has a crab. And it is so cute. And I was like, I'm going to get this. I can wear it with some jeans. And look, if I'm wearing a t-shirt or something, it'll be cute. So, got that. Um, this purse, my, my niece went with me and they picked it up. Um, saying that, you know, they thought it was cute. So I said, I'll get it for you. But she left it here. So I don't know if she still wants it. But it's a crossbody. And it does have like a little tag on the back. It says it was for sale somewhere for $19.99. So we got this for a deal. Because I know I paid less than a dollar for this. So it has this zipper ring in the back. And then it has this snap part. And you open it up and it has this little pouch area all where your cards go little slot, so it's a very cute little um, kind of wallet purse. Problem is, you can't button this, button this closed. That's the problem. It's broken. So I have to add another button right here. But this is really cute. Alright, here's some clothes. But let me see this. Is there any more? Okay, there's nothing but clothes in here. So let's go through this very quickly. Um, move that. This cute, cute scarf. I love this scarf. Look at all the different colors. Look at the pattern in this scarf. I'm going to tie this bad boy on my head. It is so cute. I love this scarf. Very, very, very cute. I got this shirt. I thought this was so cute. It's a Walmart brand, but it has all these different colors. And I thought that this was very, very cute. Blue is my favorite color. So there's lots of blues in here. Very, very nice. Very nice. Then I found this long sleeve button down shirt and it is by Express, size 10. Very, very cute for work. Got that. Another button down shirt is by Tommy Hilfiger. 
pretty blue. Uh, got that. I got this cute camouflage shirt that says genuine. It's a Dickies t-shirt. And I thought that that would be cute if I kind of like cut this up a bit. So that's that. So I'm going to like cut the sleeves off and put like a bandeau underneath it. Something like that. This is a very nice scarf my niece found. This was so cute. So I said I could wear this on my head or even around my neck. Depends on how I feel. So I told y'all I've been looking for plaid shirts. The closest thing I got to plaid shirts was this shirt, which is by Angelique Petit. Never heard of it before. But it's a cute little plaid shirt. But it's not really plaid to me. But my niece was like, it's plaid. Kind of like a patchwork kind of plaid. But I just got it. Throw it on some boots, jeans, and a little shirt underneath it. My niece, for some reason, felt like she loved this pattern. And she wanted me to cut this shirt and make it an off-the-shoulder shirt for her. So that's why we got this one. It's cute. So that's the first bag. So let's move on to the next bag. This is one of my most recent bags. And the things in here I really like. But I just went real quick and didn't spend too much time this day. So I got this scarf. And I got it because it looked like somebody made it on the other side. But this is very cute. Cute little knit scarf. Got that. But it does say hand knit on here. Aeropostale. Oh, it says Aeropostale. Oh, it's an Aeropostale scarf. I didn't even know that. Nice, nice Aeropostale scarf. I got this shirt. I just love the old vintage feel on this shirt. And I thought it would be cute if I just dressed it down with like, like some jeans and some pumps maybe. But this is a shirt, and look at all the different shapes, the geometric shapes. I loved it because I thought it was a little tribal. So I'm going to put this with maybe a blazer and some jeans and probably some red heels to pull that red out or maybe that blue. It is so cute. And there's even green in here. So got that. And I got this vest by Sonoma, and it's a white. It's kind of, it's not a jeans material, but it's kind of like a thick. Not so thick as jeans, but kind of like a thick material. And it's a white vest. And it's so cute. I just love this little vest. I love this vest. So I was thinking about changing this vest. I hate them. Sorry to tell you. I was going to um, maybe set out the collar and maybe um, set out the pocket a bit. But then I thought about it. And this, these lines might not do good with the studs. I'm not sure. It might not give me the effect that I'm trying to go with, go for. So, I guess we'll see. I saw this cute skirt. And it's from Limited Edition. Cute little skirt. So, I got this. I got this shirt. Old Navy. Long sleeve shirt. And then this is the favorite find that particular day. Because this is a Michael Kors shirt. And I know you see that size. It is a size 16, 34, 35, large. I know, I don't believe this is a man's shirt. I believe it's in men's sizes, but I kind of think it's a woman's shirt. I don't know. But it is a Michael Kors shirt. And it is so cute. And it has the, um, Hound's tooth print is brown, black, and white. So, um, it is, too, it is very, 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 very nice. Very nice. So, I'm thinking about selling this one. I didn't try it on yet, but I'm thinking about selling it. Even though I probably can wear it as a dress. I don't know what will end up happening with that, but we shall see, shall we? So, next bag. Another small bag. And this bag just has a little bit of stuff again. I went late and missed all the good stuff, so... This bag is a Polo Jeans Company bag, and as you can see, the polo is all around the top. The polo is here, and the polo is there. And this is a cute little bag. Cute, cute, cute little bag. Inside is black, and it's very nice. I love this little bag. I haven't worn it yet. Just, just taking it out of the bag, but I'm going to get it together. I like this for an everyday bag. This bag was cute because it was just a little something to carry. It's nothing much. It snaps open right here. And you just carry it like this. I'll probably try to, um, sorry y'all, my video cut off. But anyway, 
On to the next thing. I got a few scarves. I got this one. It's very cute. I got this one. It's actually tied that I'm going to turn into scarves. Very nice print. I got this cute bag, this beautiful gray bag. And it is, you open it up, it's by um, Forever 21. And it's so, so cute. It's a beautiful braided chain scrap. And I love it. Love it so much. This one is Liz Claiborne. It has two different blues. This is a darker, uh, a more vibrant blue. And this is darker blue. And if you don't know, blue is my favorite color. I love all shades of blue. Yes. So, got this for a crossbody. It is a little bit dusty, so I'm going to have to uh, wipe it off a bit. So, this is Genuine Leather, and it's by Strata. It is so, so cute. And it's a nice crossbody bag. I love the threading, but it's that brown. So, that's great. Found another Agnes bag to add to my collection. This is more for summer. has a straw texture to it here, but it's not rough. It's very soft. Um, has the emblem right there, button closure, and just have a little area inside. Very, very, very cute. This New York and Company bag is like a, a brown microfiber with a dark brown bottom uh, with the post so you can stand it up. Um, it's very nice, and I got it just, just, just because it was very clean, you know. I got some fun bags, some business bags, or I try to do a little bit of everything. So I got this really cute belt, and um, I'm not sure if I already showed you that, this one, because the camera cut off. But anyway, this is a cool belt, and I had to get it. It's actually um, like a snake head here on this end, and this end is a tail, and it hooks. So the front of it looks like this, and I can wear this as a waist belt on a dress or something. This is so cute. I thought this was so cute. So got that. Got this little bag, and what I'm going to do is take these off take the strap off, and I'm only going to have this to carry it. It's nice, like, suede material with the silver hardware, and you open it up. It has these little hooks, and I think it was just made for a particular thing, but I'm going to use it as a little purse when I go out. So, it's very cute. This bag I love to death. It is so original. Um, a young lady in the Goodwill gave this bag to me because she didn't want it again. And this is a great bag for color blocking, and I have to do something extreme with this. I could really bring this yellow out, or, you know, so, I don't know. So, it's open it up. It's very big and deep in the inside, and it's nice. It looks like it's very expensive, so I'm going to find out how much it costs, but that's that one. Then I got this little bag. It looks like a little holiday bag. I actually just picked it up because I like the gold in it. And if I have a black dress on, I can always just throw this on and just use it. So, I'm going to just see. It's just a little something. Nothing too serious. But it's cute. I thought it was cute. So, last but not least, I have this beautiful, beautiful bag. I love this bag. I love the brown. I love the greenish. Like, it looks like a greenish, blue, greenish color. And this great belting detail. And then there's the, the um, full leather on the bottom. And then it's a button closure. And it's very, very deep. It's by Chateau. And I love it so much. So, I really appreciate y'all um, checking out my video. I hope you enjoy my hauls. I'm trying to do more videos. I'm trying to do a little bit more variation, you know, in the new year. So, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Um, and, yeah. Uh, thanks again. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.